Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. I thought today I could do a really simple drawing with you um, that I think a lot of you will like. I've had, um, usually around Halloween time, a bunch of my students ask me about spider webs. So we're going to do an abstract picture of a spider web today, which means I'm going to draw a regular spider web and then I'm going to be using my markers to help color in the spaces between. So let's get started. You're gonna need a pencil, piece of paper. I'm using a Sharpie just so I have it ready to go and you guys can be able to see the lines nice and dark. But the way I'm gonna start this is I'm gonna judge what I think is the middle of this piece of paper. And I'm gonna make a nice line that comes down through the paper. Now that one just went straight down. If you would like to use a ruler, you can do that. I don't have mine handy with me at the moment, but a ruler would help you make those lines very nice and straight, and that's totally a great idea, not a problem at all. So I'm gonna make one line down, and then I'm gonna make a line that comes across. Again, I'm gonna try to find the middle of my paper and come across, but if it's not the dead center of my paper, it's not gonna be a big deal. It'll still look like a spider web if it's a little off center or anything else. Nothing's perfect, so it's okay. Now that I have these two lines, I can do corner to corner as well. So those lines will be um, diagonal. We did a vertical, a horizontal, and now I'm gonna make an X using two diagonals. So top corner on the left to the bottom corner on the right. I'm gonna try to go straight through the middle And then I'll do the same thing on this side, starting here, going across, go through the middle. There. So now that we have the basic lines, all I have to do now is fill in the spaces between. Now you can do that one of two ways. You can have straight lines that fill that space, or you can have curved. Curved is going to make it look a little bit more realistic but also I think it makes it look a little 3D, it makes it look a little cooler. So I'm going to be doing some curved lines. So think smiley face, just little bounce lines. I'm going to start near the middle and I'm going to make a bounce, bounce, bounce. I'm getting bigger as it goes along this one space. But you can keep going. Bounce, bounce, now here, I've touched the end of my page. I can either stop there, or I can continue up here and just run it off the page, which I did. I think it makes it look a little nicer if I do it that way. Now that I have one, I want you to think that every time you have a space here, it connects to the next line, okay? So where this one connects will bounce over to this line. Where this one connects and hits this line, it'll bounce over. To the next line and I'm going to do that going all the way around. Now that I have that done, I can go ahead and get started coloring. I do want to point out something that I did by accident. Um, you can see kind of in the middle, it ended up going around, and that's because I got a little distracted here and didn't connect it back, but that's okay. It still looks kind of cool, and it looks like a spiral, which I, is not exactly what I was going for, but it'll still look nice when I color it. Here we go.
I tried to just kind of play with that spiral that I had going on. So I had it start in the middle and spiral out rainbow colors. Um, I think it looks pretty cool when it's done. You can use any colors you want and you can put your colors wherever you want. They do not have to look like this. This is just something I made up off the top of my head. So feel free to experiment with this and do different colors in different spots. But I hope that you guys had a lot of fun and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.